Hello there, everyone. Have you ever wondered how we store photographs in our archival collection here at the Vernon Museum? I'm thinking probably not, but I'm going to tell you today anyways because I think it is very interesting and I hope some of you will as well. So at the Vernon Museum, we have over 30,000 images, both in hard copies and as digitized versions. As for the hard copies, they're all stored on our shelves. You can see they're arranged by number. Of course, these are numbers that we just assigned to each image as we processed it, of course, starting with, with one and now up to about 30,000. So here you can see we have images 15,500 up to 15,600. This might seem like a lot in this shelf here, but we actually have more than one shelf of images. Here's a second shelf, and I believe the first few images are actually up here. Yeah, so we have about, we have the 600 images up here. We also have another shelf just around the corner here with more images. And we also have some storage for oversized images, ones that couldn't fit into these regular acid-free envelopes. Here we have a filing cabinet full of aerial photographs, so we can open that up. Gotta, gotta give things a tug in here sometimes. And you can see there, I'm not wearing my white gloves yet, so I'm not gonna pull anything out, but all our aerial photographs are in here. Let's go take a look at the oversized images as well. Our oversized images are kept over here. Like I said, these are too big for those envelopes, so we had to put them in a special filing cabinet. And I can handle these ones because they're a nice protective plastic. So you can see that's quite a large image. Some nurses. What else have we got in here? Okay, so now I have put on my nice white gloves so that I can handle the image that is in this acid-free um, folder. This is image 10,763 in our collection. So that, that number just kind of uh, indicates when it was accessioned. So of course the first image ever accessioned was number one. And now, like I said, we're up in the, the 30,000. So we have tons of images. This uh, folder has some important archival information. So the accession number, which is a unique number assigned to every piece of material that's brought into the archives and into the museum collection. It has the collection that this image belongs to and a quick little title. So this is Barristow School Class, 1960 to 61. That information was all written on there by our archivist when the image was processed. So let's take a look. So here's the image. I mean, not exactly surprising. It's just a regular image, but of course it's the subject matter that is super special. So this is a class from Barristow from the 60s and there's some um, identification on the back. That kind of information, identification information on the back is super important. So if you have any images of Vernon that you think one day might end up in a museum, um, please write information on the back, a date, uh, who might be in it. It's super helpful for archivists when we have to go process the image because otherwise we're, we're kind of just guessing sometimes. So this image was do donated by Kent Hubble in 1994. Now, as you might expect, we don't pull out the originals all that often because they're digitized and that's just such a, an easier way to, to access them. But it's always important to keep at least two copies of materials in an archive. So that's why we have digital copies and then the physical copies. So we can go ahead and put this one away now. And I conveniently pulled out the one next to it so it would be easier for me to find its spot again. There we go. So I think that's about all I can tell you about keeping images here at the Vernon Museum. It might not be for everyone, but when I see these shelves just full of folders, I just think it's so fascinating that each one contains a unique image with a unique story 
gift that belongs to someone who lives here in Vernon. And for me, and for most of the staff who work here, our photo collection is a real treasure.